Hey everyone, we're going to do a little bit of uh, lawn tractor maintenance here. Something you should do every year and for sure every two years. It just depends on the conditions, if it's really dusty, um, really hot uh, conditions. You know, it all varies. For me, I found every two years if I do this, uh, all is good. So, let's get at it. Use some cardboard on your floor if you... So you don't get any oil on the floor. We're going to change oil and look at the air filter. Alright, so most lawn tractors are pretty much the same. Going over to the... Uh, if you're sitting in the lawn tractor, this is on the right side. Um, basically what we want to do, there's the uh, drain plug. Hopefully you have one like this, it's pretty handy, it's like a, you don't even need a wrench or anything, it's just a little push, uh, push and turn deal and the oil will start coming out. I'm going to use this hose to hook it up there. And of course, you're going to need an oil pan. Okay, I would have preferred to have a longer hose here. Um, yeah, it's not going to quite... Actually, I'm just going to use the cap here. We'll drain it into there. I'll get a funnel. And where's my funnel? Here, I have a big old funnel here. Oh, that might be too big. Yeah. All right. Plan number two, small funnel. All right, that'll work. So pretty much there's a little cap on here, a little dirt cap. Um, I really recommend getting a piece of hose. I don't know, it looks like half inch hose or something. Hook it on there. Voila, and then this thing, as I said, it's a uh, tool free you just have to push it in and turn pull it out and here comes the oil Bend. oil looks pretty dirty actually as I said I have been getting away with two years um, not sure why it looks so dirty but it looks dirty Anyways, I'm just going to let this sit. It's probably going to take five minutes or something to drain it out, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I still have the uh, drain tube on there, so it's still draining oil. Uh, just leave that on there, and we're going to move up here. I'm going to show you a little trick. Uh, I think this is probably something my dad showed me uh, or taught me or whatever, and I've been kind of doing it uh, ever since, actually, whether it's uh, cars or lawn equipment, snow blowers, etc. So here's the dipstick, this is where you fill up the oil. Found my other funnel. Make sure you don't get dirt on any of these things. Cover it up. And what we're gonna do is pour in about Remember, it's still draining. We're gonna pour in about, oh, maybe like a quarter of a liter or a quarter of a quart. And that's gonna flush out uh, some remaining garbage that's in there. So that's pretty much all I did there. And hopefully you can see. You can see the clean mixing with the, the dirty stuff that's still in there. So yeah, it kind of flushed it out. That dark stuff, that's, uh, that's the dirty old oil, so. I'll leave this for another minute, and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I've waited uh, a little while, five, ten minutes. Uh, nothing's changed. I still have the oil draining. I have my funnel there. Just going to leave all that stuff. Leave the drain plug open. It's still dripping a tiny bit. But now we're going to walk over to the other side. And let's change this oil filter. Very important, if you're going to change the oil, you better change the oil filter. 
and I have a few little tricks here for you. Now, if you have been doing the maintenance on your machine, the oil filter is probably going to come off by hand. You'll be able to turn it off. If not, you're going to need something like this. It's just like a little oil filter wrench. I don't think I'm going to need that. Of course, you'll need a new oil filter. And if you don't want to get oil all over the place, get yourself, you could probably use like a, a large Coke, maybe a two liter Coke or something, or I'm having this four liter, just an old water bottle. Make sure the cap's on the end. Because, you know, the engineers, I know they're smart, they can make some cool stuff, but they never really make things uh, user friendly. So I put some paper towel back here, because sure enough, oil's pro like I mean it's in line with the frame. If you don't do this, oil's gonna drip all over the place, make a mess, make things dirty. So it's basically there. Ouch. Okay, it's loosened up. I'm gonna shove this bottle, this jug. Right on there. It's right up in there. When I loosen that, I take it off, just let it drop down into the jug. As I say, otherwise you're gonna get oil everywhere. Voila. And yeah, like I mean quite a bit of oil dripped out of there. But it's looking good. Look at that. That's what it looks like. It's draining down into that jug, otherwise it would have went all over the tractor. Now, let's get the uh, new filter out here. The, the other one was a Fram, this one's a Quaker State. I mean, they're all fairly similar. The important thing is, is to change your oil, you know, once a year, twice a year. As I said, this is dirtier than expected. I'm not sure about it, but what I'm doing here, get a little bit of oil on your finger, and you just want to put some on the uh, on the rubber seal, and just a little bit on the threads there. I'm going to leave this jug on here, uh, so you might not be able to see perfectly, but let's just put this on. Well, I might have to take the jug off. I don't know if I can get in there. Oh, okay, that's all right. Get her, get her lined up. And again, don't you, you just tighten it with your hands so it's snug. And then just give it a little extra turn and that'll be good all clean no mess perfect now let's move over to the other side and what we're gonna do here now The drain thing, on this one anyway, it's kind of nice. Some of you might have to use a wrench. There might be a nut on there. But push it in, turn, take that off. And I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit here. Put the cap back on and let's put some oil in and pretty much these small engines they don't really they don't really take a lot of oil so what I would suggest I'm using 10w30 by the way for my climate it seems alright I'm just gonna put in about now I have a great big jug here so I just kinda wing in it but put in about uh, three quarters of a liter or three quarters of a quart 
and then we'll come back and we'll just check the level. Okay, I think that's going to do for now, so we'll just let that settle in. And all that's going to happen now, we'll get it started up after. I, I have some other stuff to do first, which I'll show you. We'll get it started up. Remember the uh, uh, oil filter? It needs to fill up with oil. So it's going to drop the oil levels down, but I know there's enough in there. It's not going to damage anything if it's a little bit low. And then we'll uh, let it run for a bit, recheck it, top it off. Okay, um, in that segment there, I just left the funnel in there while it was running. Um, yeah, don't do that. Uh, basically, put the cap back on. It seems to be some blowback that comes out of there. It was a bad, bad idea on my part. I've done. You can do that on a car, but uh, not on the lawn tractor. So, anyways, this is a 22 horsepower. Um, I looked up the oil capacity. It says 64 ounces, which is about 1.9 liters in total. But remember, I don't think that includes what it takes to fill up the oil filter, which is probably about a quarter of a liter, a uh, quarter of a quart, somewhere around there. So you're probably looking at a total of at least two liters. So definitely uh, initially put in at least about a liter and a half or maybe a quart. Uh, get it going and then you know be sure to top it off. And then go back and of course check the level. And you might be able to see that but it is at the full mark. Slightly above. So that's perfect to, to show you this but just a pointer I mean I, you don't need to see me uh, carry this procedure out but underneath your lawn tractor if you get a bunch of grass built up on there you need to clean that out uh, there's a couple shafts where the uh, that hook onto uh, the blades and it actually forces air down through through there to uh, keep the bearings cool so you should clean that out also obviously mine needs a, a good cleaning Anyways, voila, we're all done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed it. I had a few really good little pointers in there that I think would be helpful for anyone. So yeah, take care.